Many called yesterday's game the biggest basketball game in our state's history, and several diehard fans made the trip down to Dallas to cheer on the Hawkeyes. Those who didn't travel watched from home, and there were plenty of watch parties for people to attend as well. Some local bars, too. Our Griffin Wright joins us this morning with more on how fans cheered on the team from here. Griffin, where are you at this morning? It wasn't really the ending we were hoping for. Yeah, you're right about that, Kaylin. It was not the ending that fans were hoping for, especially here uh, at the front row, a Hawkeye sports bar where it was packed yesterday. And unfortunately, while those fans did not get what they wanted, they were happy to be along for the ride. What a great season. What a great season they had. You have to love it. If you're a Hawkeye fan, farther than pro probably anybody projected them to, to go. It was wonderful. And uh, how, how could you not be happy? I mean, win or lose, it was a great season. Gotta love it. Go Hawks. Now the Hawks really did have a great season and fantastic March Madness run. From Caitlin Clark setting records to many upsets during the tournament, Hawks fans got to watch their team fight all the way to the top. And it's seasons like this that can bring in new fans to women's basketball. It's a great season for the women's basketball tournament, and it's bought, brought a bunch of new fans into women's basketball. And I'll be honest, I've watched more women's basketball this season than I have in all the years. So it's sad to see that they didn't win, but at least it brought in a ton of new fans and loyal fans at that. And they got to see an incredible season from the women's team. And everyone is also excited for next year. Yes, absolutely. Hopefully that excitement carries over to next season. I know uh, three of the five starters from Iowa women are back, so we will be interested to see how they do next season. Griffin Wright reporting live for us this morning. Thank you, Griffin.